As tectonic plates move across the Earth's surface, they bump into each other, creating earthquakes. Vibrations are picked up by seismometers and are relayed to tracking stations. These vibrations can be identified as P waves and S waves and arrive at receiving stations at different speeds. P waves are vibrations that move in a push-pull fashion, travel the fastest, and arrive first. S waves are slower, with the wave moving in a side-to-side -side motion and arriving later. With information from seismic wave readings, scientists are able to determine the distance from the crust to the center of the core. Also, using S-wave data, seismologists have determined that the outer core is liquid iron, since S-waves are not able to pass through liquids and create an S-shadow. Seismic data can be used to produce a three-dimensional picture of the mantle. Plumes of magma can be seen rising from the outer core. Scientists have also been able to determine the distance to the core at 6,400 kilometers. The temperature of the core is an amazing 7,200 degrees Celsius. Seismic data collected around the globe has helped scientists build a picture of tectonic plates that move over the lithosphere very slowly. The rate of change is only several centimeters a year, but over millions of years, the distance traveled by individual plates can be dramatic. 250 million years ago, all of the continents were part of a giant supercontinent called Pangaea.